really want to go for the Bukhi store. First, I saw some photos of uh, winning platters from the Bukhi store from Jens Peter Kolbeck. Uh, it was actually in 1993. And I feel something here that one day, Erasmus, you're going to go for that. Because what I saw is uh, creativity on the highest level. I have never seen food like this. I still remember the menu totally. As you enter this world of the Bukhi store, it's so strong, memories, and, and it will be in your heart and your brain for the rest of your life. Uh, you create friendship, you will be challenged, uh, colors, uh, creating new recipes, uh, representing your country, showing your culinary identity is also important. And this is something I really can identify myself with and also the way I cook at my restaurant. If you want to reach the podium of Bukhi Store, you really need to be dedicated. It's not just a funny dream or something you would like to achieve. You're really gonna invest a lot of time, a lot of hard work. Bukhi Store is all, always involving and I think it, it needs to because it needs to be updated to the world, the world we are living in. Uh, the new future of uh, adding a vegan is very surprising for everyone. I think it's really great. I will say going vegetarian was a big step. Cut a, a carrot or a red cabbage and you see all the beautiful natural design from nature. It's amazing and that's where I find my inspiration. If I look at what I was doing, uh, the first platter and the second one and the third one. The third one when I was winning was with local Danish ingredients, beetroot, apple vinegar, uh, Danish wild mushrooms, rye bread, cucumber from Denmark, uh, local uh, herbs from Denmark. And that's why I was even more proud of winning. I think if you're watching the Bukhi store, you can only be amazed about the, the, the nerve, the, the energy in the competition, the, the noise, the, all the, the public and the attention. You see the chef, the focus, they're like so concentrated. That's, that's always difficult to, to, to balance the food you're doing for the Bukhi store because you need to trust in your food. You need to believe in your food because if you don't believe in the platter yourself, it cannot shine. My philosophy is that all ingredients can taste really great. It's just how you prepare them. It's how, you, how much love you get, give to them. I think Bukhi store became the place of innovation. Uh, you really see uh, modern, plating and platters with great new ideas based on, I will not say traditional uh, kitchen, because what is that? With influence from, from a modern uh, culinary world. Maybe you will see ants on the menu one day. Maybe you will, I mean, you see, now you see all the, this years with natural inspiration from forest and leaves and roots. Uh, and that will be a part of Bukhi store for a time because it's like, designed from nature. I like that the Bukhi store is always involving and, 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 and pushing and, and, and changing a little bit, but it needs to remember the roots uh, which was built uh, 30 years ago. Happy birthday, Bukhi store. Tillykke med fødselsdagen, Bukhi store. Jeg ønsker jer en fantastisk dag.